Okay, so quick video today about maximizing what you have at home. So when you talk about mining farm, people will start to imagine the big farms you see in Ireland or Norilsk in Russia or this, you know, with a lot of ant miners and uh, maybe thousands of machines. And you start to think, how do you do that? And me with my one card, two cards, how do I make sure everything's working properly? And what do I need? Do I need a um, big rig? Do I need these big frames I can buy for 1000 euros or several cases? And actually to get started, you don't need any of that. So I'm going to show you three rigs, which I used when I got started. And the first one is actually just desktop computer. So now when you have a desktop computer, you're pretty limited in what you can do. But there are ways to add more cards, even within the limitations of what you have. And I think this is pretty useful and maybe this can help you. And then I will show you two other rigs which have the minimum of um, housing and how I did that, how it's working. So let's get started. So this is my desktop computer and I'm going to show you how I plugged in a secondary graphics card to get started into the mining world. So as you can see on the screen, we have CPU mining on the bottom right. This is a Ryzen 5600X. And then we have on top uh, 3080, which is hashing at 92 mega hash per second. This is ASUS stuff. And then we have a 3060 Ti at 60 mega hash per second. And this is nice hash. So we're running smoothly. So this is the 3060 Ti that is plugged in in the motherboard. This is a micro ATX motherboard, so it has only a few PCIe Express slots. So I have my main graphics card, which I used for play. And then I have this one plugged in with a riser. And since I have a 650 watt PSU in my computer, this is not enough to power the secondary graphics card. So what I did is use a secondary PSU, which I plugged the graphics cards uh, into. So this is providing power for the riser and the graphics card. And to get it started, I use this module provided by Seasonic. If you don't have this, you can use like a small metal. Otherwise, the PSU will not start since it's not plugging into motherboard. So when I want to start the computer, I start the PSU manually. And then I start the computer and everything is working properly. The secondary graphics card has its power supply. The main graphics card has its power supply, so it's not synchronized. I have to do this manually to turn it on and to turn it off, but it works perfectly. And I can have as many graphics card as this power supply supports and as many as the motherboard supports, of course. So in my case, there's only two PCIe Express slot. I could use a multiplier, but this was just to get started. You get the idea. You can, you can do more if you have more. And there is no, no risk. This was running properly smoothly for many, many days before I got my, my full rig. So as you can see, it's, uh, it's hashing properly. There is no dropped share. Maybe, okay, there was <laughs> a few ones at that point, but mostly it, st it was stable for many days. So as long as your power supply is uh, efficient enough, it's all plugged in properly, you have the drivers, it can run for several days without any major hiccup. And you don't have to go and buy a new motherboard, new uh, full rig and a new CPU. You can just use your main desktop and plug in as many graphics cards as you can get your hands on. Which is probably not a lot for most people, but that's how it is right now. And yeah. And now let's have a look at the second rig. So as you can see, this is pretty 
bare bone and that was what I was going for and I didn't immediately jump on eBay to buy one of these very expensive frames for what they really are which I think should cost a lot less if it wasn't for this crypto mining craze so as you can see I just put the motherboard on its own box and then the power supply next to it and then I made sure that everything is plugged in properly and as you can see it's running without any problem of course so hashing at around 60 mega hash per second per card at 120 watts after overclocking and I will share my own overclocking values in a later video and as you can see it's just try to make sure that the graphics card are well uh, there is enough space between them so they don't heat up and everything is close to the power supply because it doesn't have very long cables to make sure the heat doesn't stay I also put some fan there is a big fan as you can see we're drawing around 840 watts at the wall just to make sure that everything is is working properly you can do the math 120 watts uh, six cards plugged in this is a 1650 watts power supply so the heat um, just in case there was uh, accumulation of heat I put a fan just a normal fan in front of the cards which you don't see on this video but this was running also for like one or two weeks without any graphics card overheating without any uh, reboot so you can also just not buy one of these frames and just to prove my point this is a third rig which I was using now it's not like this anymore now that I have got uh, frames but this was also running for several days and this is a mix of 3070 and 3060 TIs and it's the same setup I have the motherboard on a box in this case an Amazon box and the power supply is nearby and all these cards are just around the PSU with enough space between them and everything is working perfectly and you can do as many as you want as long as you have enough space and a table and no cat to jump on your motherboard okay that's it for this video i hope you learned something if you appreciated the video thumbs up if you have any question any suggestions write a comment and i hope i will see you on the next one bye bye